Why is it down low? Welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. Starting late as always, but we start them, or we, me, I start them off on Mondays instead of Sunday. I'm really weird with that, but yeah, we're gonna roll with it, shall we? Alright, and I am happy to announce. Da -da 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 -da, I finished Sadie. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, why are we doing this? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, there's a massive cliffhanger at the very end of the book. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't read it, I don't want to spoil it for you in case you do want to get to it. So if you don't want to hear the spoils about Sadie, goodbye, leave. See you later. Come back for when you've read the book and then, you know, click this part of the video. But, if you had read it and you do know what I'm talking about, let's get into that, shall we? Okay, for the whole, for the whole book, Sadie is trying to find one of her mom's many ex-boyfriends. But there's one in particular that stands out. And... Towards the very end, she finds him. But, later do we find out that both of them end up missing. Well, one is presumed dead. The other one, no one has no whereabouts on where she went. But, but though, I have a theory... I don't know if my theory may or may not be correct, but it's the one I'm choosing, and I like it much better. Um, I am thinking right before he killed her, she stabbed him with his switchblade that she'd been carrying around the, her whole journey. And after that switchblade went in, he got her, buried her down in the ground, and that's that. That's my theory. I, I could be off, but the last place that he was staying at, the lady said that he came home dirty and wounded badly. So I have a feeling Sadie got him. Yes, go Sadie. But I think he got her back after she got him at the same process. So boo him. But <laughs> overall... I really enjoyed it. I listened to it on audio, which I would highly recommend because the broadcast to listen to on audio is really cool. And yes, also, before I forget, Sadie is also a stutter, which I never knew about. But it's, I think it's kind of cool that they threw that in there, but not a whole lot of people talk about that she's a stutter, so... There you go. There's another information about that. And the book I was holding up when I was going like this, of course, is The Prior of the Orange Tree. And I've been reading it on and off all day. I haven't gotten very far, so don't blame me there. But I made it up to page 26, and I'm going to read a little bit more of this bad boy before I go to bed. But like I said, from what I read of it, I am hooked. And just look at this cover. Ooh, dry. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that. The other book I'm going to try to listen to on audio 
is the daughter of Smoking Bone. I love YouTube because I also found this book or this audiobook on YouTube, so definitely gonna try to listen to half of it on there. I haven't gotten much farther into it. Well, I guess I got I'm on page 19 last time I was only on like eight. So I got a little further into it, but I really like this one too, so those are the two I'm going to be working on. The Prior of the Orange Tree wasn't on my TBR list, but these other books are, which is Heart of Thrones, The Hazelwood, A Court of Thrones, and Roses. Will I get to these three these last three books? Maybe, maybe not. But I have finished at least four books so far this month and I'm pretty pleased about it. So yes. <laughs> and the Queen of Innis Lear. I keep saying I should really pick it back up to finish reading it. But um I jump into another new book instead of trying to finish that one, and I have been into it for about a year now, so that's really telling me I should definitely DNF it, but I mean, I'm into it a little bit, like I like it, but I never, it's a retelling, and I can't remember of what retelling it's of. I think of the Inner Slayer, maybe? But I've never read that one, so it's a hit and a miss with me, really. And it's a thick. Like, it's really thick. I mean, so is the Pride of the Orange Tree, but I'm more into that than I'm into the Queens of the Innis Lear, if you catch my drift. Anyway, enough of that little jibber jabber in the middle there. I'm gonna go and get some unfinished reading in for the night. And I will try to remember to update you all sometime tomorrow afternoon. I don't know, it'll be afternoon, not morning. Maybe morning, we'll see. At this rate, you never know with me, with these vlogs. But, in any case, I will see you guys tomorrow. Betty and Jack is a good night. Bye. Hi guys, it is Tuesday after, well, I want to say afternoon, but it's more really Tuesday night, but at least it's not late night, Hey. <laughs> okay, let's see, progress in Daughter of Smoke and Bone, still on page 19, I mean, I will pick it back up, but... At the same time, I'm still currently somewhat in the middle of the Priory of the Orange Tree. Hopefully, I am saying that name correctly. If I'm not, let me know down in the comments, and I will try my best on working on it. Anyway, for in this one, I finally got up to page 31, and then after I did that, I laid down for a little bit. <sighs> So I'm just now waking up again, and yes, I'm hoping to get more done into this. I want to hit at least close to, once we get past page 50, we're good. We're really good. But I would love to be on page 300, which would be like right here. I would love to be here by maybe Friday if I can, or if not Friday, Saturday. That would be awesome. I mean, the way I'm going with it, it's really good. I don't want to put it down, but when you get tired, you get tired. Ugh. And it is finally somewhat spring. It's a little bit winter out, but that also being said, allergies and my nose it keeps tickling it needs to stop tickling because it's annoying and we're not here for that any
Anyway, please bear in that. Oh, hey. Anyway, um, that's about for reading wise. I got. I'm gonna probably add a couple of me reading a couple of pages. Ooh, and in this book, there's two different kind of maps. See, here's map one. Look how gorgeous. And then, we got map two, followed by some dragons. I'm sorry, I'm like totally geeking out, but I love it. I truly do love you. And that was bad. <laughs> All right, a clip of me reading in the reading vlog, which we all like that. Hey, I don't know why I said it like that, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Oh, but before we do, I got earlier the new Coca Cola, the orange vanilla. I thought it would be kind of gross, but it's kind of not that bad, surprisingly. I didn't think I would like it, but it's good. <laughs> so if you haven't tried it and if you're hesitant, get a bottle like I did and try it that way. Don't get like a whole 24 pack. Or 24 pack, a 12 pack, because they do have a 12 pack. But I would start off with a Coke small bottle like that to see if you like it before you buy that and then say, oh, I don't like this. Now what am I going to do with this pop? So that's just a suggestion. You're all welcome. Okay, now back to the prior of the orange tree. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I probably am, but y'all know what I mean. This beast. And I love the dragon. And like on some of the claws, you can actually feel like the claw nail. It feels really weird, but I kind of dig it. Okay. Anyway, see, this is what I do when I go to reading. I get distracted most of the time. And then, and then I buckle down and read. And it's raining again, but no storm. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, read. <clears throat> I have no interest in befriending the fools. I love that line. Okay. Tell me, how do we say her name? Is it Tane? Am I saying it correctly, or is it Tane? Tane, Tane. I'm not really sure, but that's how I'm saying it, so we're rolling with it for now. And Tursa, I'm not exactly sure how to say his name either, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. These names, but I like these people, so... Oh, what you gonna do? Meet me halfway. And then, Aisha? I don't even know.
Wait, the dragons talk in this? That is so cool. <laughs> Oh, this is a really long clip. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this clip here. And like I said, just dive into this reading. And maybe late later tonight, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, okay, bye. Welcome back. It is uh, Thursday evening. Got off work like around six. Had to do a little few errands to run. And yesterday just got so busy and I was so tired. I didn't feel like vlogging anything. So I did not. So yay me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, reading update. Oh my god, this book is the fake. But I love it. Can you guess what book? Can you? Can you? <gasps> oh! Too late! Yes, I am reading the Priory of the Orange Tree. Still not sure if I'm saying that first word right, but we're trying. But anyway, I love it, and it does have dragons, and there's a lot of talk about dragons. I really like dragons if you haven't catched my drift yet. And then like the feeling of the book. Oh the feeling so oh okay. Me geeking out over a book. Are we surprised? No. Should you be? Do you not know me at all? Okay. Anyway. Another update for On the Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I have not listened or read it physically in a little bit. I probably should this weekend so I can get more of it done because they're doing the read-along. <laughs> How are we trying to put this? Okay, the people that are hosting the read-along for this book, the live show is in April. So, I mean, I have a little bit of time to read it between books, but... I want to try to get the bigger book done first if I can, and then forward to this. But 
with audio, I tend to finish books quicker, which is weird. I mean, I follow along with it, but I don't know. There's something about audio that I like. Mm, what you gonna do? And then another book that is on my TBR that I should at least get into. And da -da 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 -da. if you're happy about it, give it a thumbs up. I don't know what that was. Uh, I'm finally going to try to start A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Now, I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is that it's got Bay, and it, I think it might be in that same world with Aelin in them, but different casts of people from what I've heard. Not going to go into too much detail about this because it has been around. I'm just late to the party as usual, but this part is what hooks me. She stole a life. Now she must pay with her heart. <laughs> all right that is all i have for today's update is oh these are my main goals are we gonna get two of them all maybe not but this one i am flying through so i might get up to my goal of 300 sometime this week or weekend I don't have to go back to work until Sunday, so, um, yes. Oh, and then, and then, didn't get books, but I'm going to write about them anyway because that's just who I am. I did get the movie Widows. It, the previews looked really good when I did see it, and... Uh, Two of the main, or two, three of the main characters, I have seen them in other things, and I really like them. So, you know, I had to pick it up. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to have to have a movie day eventually. Don't want you. Alright, and then the other little movie I got is The Little Mermaid. I did get it on Blu-ray and DVD, but for some odd reason, I don't know where our VHS tape is of this, or if we even had it, but I couldn't find it, so that's telling me we didn't have it when we should have, but now we do, because I love The Little Mermaid, I love Flounder, oh, what is it? Sebastian, how could I almost forget his name, he's like the, one of the funny ones, and he's the one who sings Sha la 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 la, you gotta kiss the girl. Okay, we're not getting too in details with that song, but he is that person. Anyway, I am gonna go. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> there is no harm of the making of this video and the, with the book. Not sure what I was trying to say there, but um, the books are okay. I'm okay, we're good. Anyway, I'm gonna go and try to see if I can't get up to 100 pages and then push past my mark and get to maybe 300 pages. We shall try, but hopefully tomorrow morning, should be up around in the morning anyway, and got a little bit of errands to run. And then when I get back, try to remember to update. Keyword is try. We should be getting better. This is my third weekly reading vlog. I'm going to try to make them um, regular. Post it on the weekends. We got this. A A. Anyway. <laughs> I will see you guys probably in a little bit. Because I didn't vlog yesterday. So yeah. We'll see you when I get past maybe 100 pages. That's if I stick to it and not watch all the booktube videos that I need to watch. But those particular ones can't wait. Sort of. So I'm gonna go do some reading. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hi guys.
guys, welcome to Friday. So exciting. I'm gonna get this sticker off my book. <laughs> oh. Now there's a sticker on the back of the book. No, stickers. No, don't be mean. <laughs> I win. <laughs> That is how we're starting out this video. This is awesome. Uh, 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 okay. We'll put you in there. We don't care about you. Oh. Why is my get naked? Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> okay. Did we see this one look like Mickey? Oh yeah, we did. Only this spine is like a kind of dark, hottish pink color in a way. Sorry, playing with new books that I got this afternoon. And things are everywhere but to start this video off right and before we go into further details I believe I said today is Friday if not welcome Friday we like Friday because it's the weekend and we just want to have fun um, Okay, I had to get that clip in there. I usually do. Anyway, now let me talk about the small three little book. Well, not little, but one's kind of little books that I got this afternoon. Hey, hey. Alright. The first one we're going to talk about because it is a classic and surprisingly I don't even have this one. I have like a retelling of Frank of this book, but do I have the actual cop copy of Frankenstein? No, but I do now. If you haven't heard of Frankenstein, or Frankenstein, where have you, where have you been? But basically, it is about a guy who is a scientist named Victor Frankenstein, secretly assembles a collection of body parts and activates it with an electric charge. The result is horrifying, even to his maker and is never named. Basically, if you haven't heard of the old tale, Frankenstein builds himself a monstrous bride. Not exactly sure what her name ends up being, but I know he builds her out of body parts and she has this big crazy hair. Anyway, that's a little story of Frankenstein. And if you're into classic horror movies like that or books, then this one might be for you. I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm excited about it. Moving on from that, I did pick up a book, We Set the Dark on Fire. I'm not even sure how to say that person's name. Will you focus? But look how gorgeous this cover is. Oh, and the feel of it is kind of weird, but I like it. I'm here for it. I won't go into too much details about this because I do have a book haul that I need to film sometime this weekend, hopefully. Because there are a lot 
cookbook. So this is just a little preview. And then I finally picked up the third book to the Fouts at Four series, and so I got the Towering Sky. I haven't read the other two, but I'm getting all these sequels and all the third ones, but now I have an excuse to bend read. Will I get to it? Mm, maybe. I should, but we'll see. But I'm excited. Every rise has a fall. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it for those. You go up there, of course. For my big book, I am finally up to page 92. Can I get what, 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 what? It's been a very long day, so we're just going with whatever we throw in there. But the dragons in here, we get a little bit of taste of the dragons, and apparently, if I'm thinking correctly, they talk and they can sense things. Like, if you've been up to no good, they'd be able to rat you out to the counselor if they could. Kind of what I caught when I was reading it, I might be completely wrong and read that sentence, that statement wrong, but that's what I thought was going on, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and we can discuss exactly what's going on, because I am understanding it, it's just, it's a thick book, but it is good thick book, if you get where I'm going. Like I said, it's been a long day. <sighs> that was refreshing. <laughs> anyway. So that's all I've done for reading. Updating wise, still in the same place. In Daughter of Smoke and Bone, haven't made any progress. Need to, I haven't started a quarry throne. Thrones and Roses yet, need to, it's on my TBR. I finished at least four books, a few of them were on my TBR, some were added in later to my TBR. But, um, yeah, and that's about all I got for today, but I am going to add in a little bit of me reading, hopefully not too long of a vlog for me reading, but since I did miss Thursday, and I have one more day left for a vlog, we're going to add in a little clip of me reading, which won't be this one, but it'll be the one I will post right after, so don't go anywhere because the small clip is coming. Okay. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it is now late. Well, late. Uh, it's late Friday night into Saturday early morning. To me, it's early. It's almost 2 a.m., so I guess technically not early, but still early. <laughs> Alright, anyway, some reading updates. You all should be proud of me. I started listening to the audio for A Court of Thrones. Throne? A Court of Thorns and Roses. Why couldn't I say that the first time? Yay. It has been a minute, let me tell you. Anyways, I've made it up to page 22 and already on chapter 3, so, I mean, that's impressive, so hey. But so far, I kind of like it. Like, a few of the sisters. The other two sisters in this book so far, the oldest one I find 
kind of annoying, but I'm only in the beginning, so hopefully she gets better towards the middle. Like, if she's not better by chapter 23... <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. Finally getting to at least another book that's on my TBR, so yay me. We got the last week of March, so, um, good thing I found the audio for it, because I tend to fly through the audiobooks. But it also depends on the narrator who's telling the book. Sometimes there's good ones, other times there are horrible ones, at least from what I've heard. Haven't found one yet, thank goodness. But when I do... I'll let y'all know to stay clear, stay far away. So, haven't yet made progress in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Working on it, but not working on it at the same time. I'm just glad I got started into another book. And I'm still on page 92. And overall, out of the three books that I'm currently in the middle of. I don't know why I do that to myself. I mean, I'm in the middle of a lot of books right now, but the three that I'm trying to focus on is hard. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stick to at least one book to read, but that's kind of hard. Sort of, but not really. But I think I can get like a good chunk of this done by this weekend. Maybe. Like I said, I'm already on 92, so I can definitely hit, like, the 100 mark area, so I got props to myself. Anyway, and I still need to film my book haul the, for all the books that I've got in March, and it's quite a big list. I think I have, like, over... 16 books, I think, that I've gotten in March, so I will get to them all eventually, but yay, books. Anyway, as you can tell, my whole room is technically a library, like, look at that. Look at my favorite shelf and my books and my other two shelves. Like, what? Sorry, that was up close and personal. Anyway, <laughs> since it is later in the night and it is almost 2 a.m., I think I'm gonna spend a little bit more reading down either some more of the prior of the orange tree or a court of thorns and roses. Need to work on saying that better. I got the audio for that on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube! And, um, yeah, and that's all I got for right now. And hopefully I can get this vlog up and running by this weekend. She says, hopefully. I mean, I work Sunday, so, you know, baby steps, baby steps. But I do need to play with my other little camera and, like, maybe take some videos with it and see how well it captures. So, anyway, it's all good in time. All good. We all good, my friends. Anyway, I'm gonna go do the little bit of the reading and get some more sleep in. I had a little bit of a nap, but I'm getting tired again, so... Hopefully I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'm not sure when, but you will see me again. Okay, okay bye. Alright, welcome back. It is a Saturday night. Late night, should be going to bed because I have work in the morning. Or, well, afternoon, not morning. I have to be up in the morning. All over the place today. <laughs> anyway, what I mentioned last night, 
I did finally start this on audio, and I'm still just only on page 22, but I do really like it. I will probably finish listening to more of it the rest of this week, because I have some time off in between work, so this will probably be one of my goals to get through. And then, this beast, I am happy to announce didn't get up close to my goal, but I am currently at 105 for now, and I'm really enjoying this. It'll take me a while to get to my goal to 300, and then onward from there, but yeah, just want to let you all know, if you haven't read The Priory, of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. You need to get it. It talks a lot about dragons and their the people's backstories a little bit and it's just amazing and I like it. The humor in it is glorious. Just you need to read me hey. And another thing I'm happy to announce is I went and I bought myself a TV a card. I would bring it here, but instead I will take you to it because it's a little lopsided and it likes to fall. Oh. Can we say it? No. Kind of see it. Sorry guys, but there it is. There's my Octavia car. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. That was difficult. <laughs> I apologize. But I had to share it because I was excited to get it. And when I did, putting it together, it's kind of easy. But it's also kind of confusing at the same time. So, you know, we work with what we got. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for this little clip for today. I will probably be starting a new, another weekly vlog sometime tomorrow whenever I get off work and get home. So, there's that. And I will see you guys, like I said, tomorrow. Alright, alright, bye.